Hi guys, Dennis Kang here. Welcome to Ask Kang. Today's question is by Tony Montana from Miami, Florida. To run or not to run, I want to increase my overall conditioning, but my boxing coach tells me I should be running. My MMA coach tells me I should not be running and that training will be enough. Well, Tony, long, slow distance running is only good for really losing weight and learning to relax and cruise throughout the rounds. I think that if you want to increase your maximum cardio output, you need to do high intensity training, which is short sprints. An example is Tabata training, which is 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So I would go on a treadmill, let's say at uh, 15 speed, which is pretty fast, but only on for 10 seconds, 10 seconds rest. So I'm teaching my body to go at maximum power, maximum output, and then learning to rest in between. Okay, I think real cardio is more learning to recover in between bursts as opposed to constant burst or constant going all out. Now, having said that, a more efficient way to build cardio for MMA is of course to do sparring because you're being as specific as you can be. So, the running is good for cardio but only as a supplement to your already existing training of sparring.